So we're doing a physical exam on a walking horse today, which is different than a pre-purchase exam. A physical exam is making sure that physically he's in good shape. It's kind of like me and you going to the doctor annually for a checkup. So we're going to take him out and get a weight on him and see where we're at. This is Kayla. She'll be helping me. All right. I'm going to say 964. How's that? What did I say? 954. <laughs> it's 964. That's pretty close. That's pretty good. Hair coat looks good. You can palpate his ribs. You can't see them, so that looks good. I like to get in front of him here and just kind of look at symmetry. And you can get a lot of uh, information just right here at the head. A lot of your cranial nerves, um, the optic nerve. The olfactory nerve with the nose, Tri facial nerves coming down. See, there's no paralysis or paresis. We check his teeth here, check his color. That gives us an idea of how his circulation is. So what we want to do, if you want to zoom in here, is I'm going to push on this and count 1,001, 1,002. See, it goes right back. So he's got good circulation. Just make sure his skin's in good shape, no tumors. Yeah. Make sure everything's good. So I'm going to pull some blood on him, let it be running, just like they do when you go to the doctor. This is Mike, he's helping me too. All right, can you run that for me? Let's go check his vision here. Also want to look at his eyelids, make sure there's no problem there, that his eyelids are good, they're not rubbing on the eyeball. No signs of any tumors. Make sure he can see good. And there again, looking for any kind of asymmetry there. So that all looks good. Then we're just going to listen to him. Getting a heart rate, making sure there's no murmurs. And we'll listen to his lungs. Then we're going to listen for gut sounds. We're going to check all four quadrants, as we call it, in the abdomen here for normal intestinal sounds. Okay. So like you go to the doctor and they ask you to take a deep breath so they can listen. We can't really get horses to do this. Do that. So this is my approach. It looks like we're suffocating him, but we're not. We're going to let that stay on just a little bit. And then Mike's going to pull it off, and that's going to let him really pull the air in so I can hear those lungs really good. Okay, take a deep breath. So that makes the horse breathe deep, so... Just like there again, 
you go to the doctor and they have you breathe in, breathe out. So we're going to check his legs here. There again, just making sure we don't have any swelling, anything blemish-wise that we see. You can see this horse is probably do a reset just by looking at his foot. So we're good there. Same thing in the back. Make sure he likes to be flexed. And also as a gild, and we like to check his sheath, make sure that's good. And it's good. His old castration scars have healed. You can see everything palpates good. It's a pretty nice horse. There again, just do a reset. Check him out. All right, let me get the hoof testers. So on a good physical exam, I like to make sure I've touched about every part of his body to make sure everything's okay. I'm just going to hoof test him here, make sure nothing's abnormal. We're good there. Same thing on the back feet. Go to the other side. It's one thing you got to love about walking horses. They're very cooperative and easy to work around. And you can see there again, nothing major. You just do a reset. See how the frog's trying to shed a little bit there. Overall, he's pretty good, physically in good shape. So don't get confused with a physical exam versus a lameness exam. There's, there's a difference. So on this, we're just trying to make sure the horse is healthy, which he is, very good shape.